Hey Beauty Nistas, this is Shirley Super Hip Mama and it's been a while. I know, I'm so sorry, I went MIA last week. Um, my daughter's birthday celebration kind of morphed into a whole week event and so yeah, my time is spent on that and I apologize for being away. Today what I want to do is to use my May products, my May favorite products I should say, and recreate the look that I was wearing when I was doing that video. I'm going to put the link to the May video uh, or the May favorite products video. I'm sorry, I can't talk. You know, it's it's been a while since I've tamed and so it's kind of like tongue tied and feeling a little awkward in front of the camera but I'm sure I'll start warming up. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and first um, apply this matte mattifying uh, product here from MAC <laughs> tongue twister. I'm going to put it all over my face specifically the T-zone area because the uh, foundation that I'm going to use today is actually a mineralized foundation from MAC and it's a new product so it's supposed to give you a nice dewy look and of course I don't want to mattify this area. Okay next I'm going to use the mineralized MAC Moisture SPF 15 foundation. Um, I'm still kind of testing it out, so I don't know how I feel about it. My color is in NC25 in this particular foundation because I know that I have another foundation that I was typed NC20. So go figure. It is the uh, Studio Fix foundation. I'm in NC20. Let's play around with it. That's what I always say. But I prefer to go lighter than darker because you can easily warm up with bronzer versus trying to take off you know, like trying to tone it down a, a few lighter shades. I think that's a little bit more challenging to achieve. So, mineralized foundation, one squirk, and I'm just going to tap it all over. Okay, I'm going to use my Sigma F84. Buff it all out. Okay, this is just one layer and you know, it's, it's the summer months, so the last thing I want is to look all made up. I want some of my skin to show through, so one layer is all I'm doing. And yes, you will see imperfection, you will see freckles, and I'm totally fine with it. I, I'm more like a um, medium kind of a coverage girl. I don't like anything heavier than that. So this is how I like it. And before I go ahead and set, I'm going to go ahead and uh, conceal Bobby Brown light peach corrector my holy grail holy grail you've all seen me use this many many times and all I'm doing is light coverage light light coverage so because I don't want to look too concealed I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline uh, Dream Lumi in Radiance I hope you can see it I always do it upside down and expect people to be able to decipher this. There you go. So, I'm just going to mark it all over my face. I like to highlight my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, the side, very important. I like this because it's very light, it highlights my skin. And thankfully today, I do not need a lot of coverage to conceal, so this is perfect. Okay. And using my Bare Minerals Soft Focus Eyeshadow Brush, this is great for blending out. So I'm just going to very gently blend out. Before I set, I'm going to go use the High Beam from this Sugarlicious um, kit here. I really like it. And the brush that I really like using is, of course, no surprise, the e.l.f. Small Steeple Brush. This really helps to work the product in. Or you can actually also use the same brush um, that I just kind of buff out my concealer. So just very little bit, dot, 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 on the high parts of the cheeks. And I just steeple them and gradually blend it out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, powder it and I'm going to use the Bare Mineral Ready Translucent uh, Touch Up Veil. Tap away excess, pressing it in, my T-zone area especially. 
and under eyes. Brush it. And I'm using my ever faithful Anastasia, um, the medium ash brow powder dual. I like to mix the two colors together. And I start with under to kind of shape how I want it. I don't feel like much of an arch today. I'm just going kind of straight. Again, one of my Holy Grails Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia. And just hold the brows in place with it. This is amazing. And this lasts me forever. Really does. Okay, this step I've not shown too many of you about how I do it. I like to use the L'Oreal True Match W123 to clean up my eyebrows. So what I'll do is I'll take a Sigma F70 brush. It's really a uh, concealer brush, but it's nice and small as you can tell to really get underneath the high points of my eyebrow and just really clean it up and make it look sharper. Top and bottom. That's what I personally like to do. Okay, so eyebrows are done. Next thing is to prime my eyelids and I'm going back to using my Urban Decay's Eden. I don't know, do you guys have issue with this particular product where if you have not used it for a while, it kind of separates and when you first screw it out, it's kind of like all watery. I've been having this issue, issue with, um, with my Urban Decay primer and I don't know if it's because I got a bad one or that's just what the product does if you're not using it for a while. I was using something else, which I believe I shared, and that's the NARS Smudge Proof or Pro Primer. And so I've neglected this, the Urban Decay, and then when I went back to it, it went pfft, on me. <laughs> Gave me raspberries kisses. That's what my daughter would say. Giving you raspberry kisses, mommy. Okay, so I've primed my eyes, and now I'm going to go to my Bare Study from MAC Paint Pot, and very carefully, well, don't really have to be that careful, but because I have very little lit space, I don't want it to smudge all over top and bottom. Um, I'm going to place this as a base. And you know what? If you have normal eyelids, I have oily eyelids, and that's why I like to double up with a pr eye primer, even though I'm using a um, paint pot, which a lot of people use it as an eye primer. But if you have normal eyelids, you can skip priming your eyes with a primer and just go straight to the paint pot. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Naked Basics from Urban Decay. And I'm going to lay down a combination of two. I'm going to combine Venus and Foxy together and put it all over my eyelid where I just, um, you know, prime my eyes. I'm going to bring my brushes closer to me. Sorry. So I'm actually testing out this new brush set that I bought, which is the Sedona Lace brush set, as you can tell from their signature pink and black. Um, so I'm going to use this brush, which is 305. I'm going to combine Venus and Foxy together, tap off the excess, and just pat it on. And then taking their fluffy brush, blending brush, which is uh, 860 
three, I'm going to smooth out Then combining, um, actually not going to combine, I'm going to use Naked 2 here and kind of slowly um, apply it as the transition color. And I'm going to use the Sedona Lace 407, which is like a slightly angled brush. I always like to use an angled brush and just put it around where my, or my bone or you know around my eye socket where my crease would be. I like to do that. I am going to combine Faint and Crave. Crave, Faint. I'm going to combine these two colors and apply on the outer corners of my eyes. So here goes. And the way I do it is I pull it in and then gently bring it up towards where my crease color is. And I'm going to do that for both eyes. Blending brush, blend it out. Using the same brush, I'm going to lay down whatever products left on the brush and put it in my lower eyelid or, you know, the lower lashes. Now, this is my own preference because my eyes are uh, on the oilier side, my eyelids are on the oilier side, not my eyes. Um, and also I tend to tear quite a bit, so usually I try not to go too dramatic um, at the bottom lashes just because they will smudge no matter what I do to them. However, I still like to have a little color, so I'm going to use the 904 brush from Sedona Lace and do the same thing, combine Faint and Crave together. Not too much, tap off the excess and just line the lower lashes. And I'll do it kind of halfway right here, not all the way through. Personally, I, I don't like that kind of harsh look. Like I stop right in the center, I wipe off the brush and then go back into Venus and then join the inner corner. And as you can tell, or maybe not, my lid space are very limited. Um, and so I tend not to, especially for day look, to line my eyes um, because if I'm not using eyelashes, I try not to line my eyes. So what I would like to do is to apply um, some liner, tight lining it, so it gives you the appearance of a very thin, uh, you know, I you know very thin line, or as if like I'm lining my eyes very thinly, and I'm going ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, what I use to curl my eyelashes is this new mascara that I think is the bomb for me, at least. It is the Lash Domination from Bare Minerals. I believe it's not in the retail stores yet. QVC had it the last time with when, when Leslie, the CEO, was on QVC. That was like her last QVC show. And so I took advantage of it. I ordered it. And, you know, when I went back to QVC, it's not even on sale on QVC anymore. So you have to wait till it comes out, I believe, maybe somewhere in July. Coming up soon in the summer months. So this is um, pretty much the eyelashes that I managed to achieve with this product just this one product I think this very very soon will be replacing my previous holy grail which is the fairy drops which by the way is no longer available in Sephora okay and if you notice that um, my eye look seems to have darkened it is because um, I smeared some mascara on my upper eyelid and I tried to blend it out and before you knew it it just got too dark or it got darker so I did kind of fudge around with it um, so yeah it's a little bit darker okay now let's move on to the bronzer I have there are two things that I, I have to do every day um, whether or not I put on eyeshadows or do the rest of my face and that is my eyebrows and uh, contouring my cheekbone because I feel like it really helps to um, shape my face you know and slim down my face uh, I'm using Sedona Lace 850 brush so I'm gonna do the fish face oh yeah and benefit hula
Okay, and for blush, I'm actually using Bare Minerals uh, in one of the Rady blushes, and it's called The One. And this is how the color looks like. It's a very nice, like, pink right here. I'll swatch it for you. That's the color. It's very light. So using the same... Oh, I fell. Something fell from my table. I have to check. So it's very light. Um, to some people it might seem like I have no blush, but I do. It's just a very light touch. I do not want to take the focus away f um, from my eyes uh, because I really I really like how the eyes turn out. And um, so I'm just doing a very soft cheek. And I already have the highlighter from High Beam that I did just now. And I want to contour a little bit more. So I'm picking up more of the Hula. And just really focusing here, right here. Because that's where I really want it to create that shadow effect. And then now... To the chin. So I've put on the blush and the last thing I need to do is my lips and today I'm going with my rediscovered favorite that I've showcased in the um, May favorite products which is the Roman Holiday from NARS. You can see. There we go. And it's this beautiful, beautiful pink. Kind of matches my little turban hair, turban hair, dries my hair. Anyway. I think it looks really nice. It's a very gentle baby pink as you can tell. So it doesn't steal the spotlight from the eyes because again I really like how the eyes turn out. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise that I smeared the, uh, the mascara because now I really I darken it a whole lot more and it's okay, really nice. I'm back. Uh, my hair is still kind of wet. I actually like to air dry my hair so I don't really blow dry a whole lot. Uh, so this is the finished look. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial or me demonstrating how I achieved this look. I really enjoyed it. And uh, you know, leave me comments about what you want to see in the next videos. I would do my very best, you know, to kind of answer all of your requests. Um, I was thinking of the next one, maybe talking about where to place your contouring. Um, because I know a lot of people have questions about that and I love to contour my face because I feel like my face is a little bit rounder than I prefer and so contouring is something that I really enjoy you know doing on my own so I'd love to share with you what I think works for me and you can certainly practice it on your own face you know frame and everything because everybody's face is different your bone structure everything so I hope you enjoyed this video and for those of you who are new to my channel thank you so much for subscribing and welcome and uh, please thumbs up on this video and comment you know I love to chat like I said I always answer to every single comment because I just love you know chit chatting you guys are my friends so you know I love to chit chat um, and you know subscribe if you have not subscribed or if you stumble upon this video love for you to join in my little community of uh, beauty obsessed people <laughs> that would be me I am the queen of that so talk to you later have a wonderful week ahead of you bye